This is JB's Baseball Cards. Here today with the baseball card opening recap of it, one monster box of the 2021 Top Series 1 Baseball. Uh, these Walmart monster boxes came out just recently. Um, I got one on the walmart.com website. Uh, they're about $45, um, which is actually a better deal per card than the uh, regular uh, retail packs. So it pretty much comes with 16 packs of the 16 card packs, which are the retail packs. Pretty good deal overall, I'd say, and I definitely got some uh, good cards, including a hit. So before I show off um, the highlights of the box, I also opened up a blaster box I got at Walmart. You got a really nice rookie rainbow foil of Alec Baum. I think he's definitely one of the top five uh, rookies of 2021 Series 1 so far. He got a rookie cup. He played really well last year. Um, hit over 300 and... Really promising prospect for the Phillies, so definitely a nice card I got out of the blaster box. I'll go ahead and start off, uh, just show some of the rookies and inserts I got. Here's just some of the top uh, rookies. This is a very deep class because, um, of course, the shortened season last year, um, there was not a lot in update series, but on Monster Box, you get pretty much all the good rookies. I think Ryan Mountcastle was the only... Uh, top name so far that I didn't get in that. In each pack, you get one of these 1952 design cards, which is great. And I'm trying to build the set. There's a Javi Baez. So, Cunha, Ron and Juan. There's a Joe Adele, another one I didn't have. So, I think the set's 50 cards, and I got definitely got a few that are helping me get closer to completing the set if I'm not already there. Jimenez, Otani. So, this is a great way if you're trying to build that set. Um, these are only available in retail and got some good rookies, Bart, Pearson. And uh, next I'll show some of the ins other inserts and then go to the parallels and then the hits of the box. 1986 design got a Sonny Gray, Whit Merrifield, and a nice Chris Bryant for the Cubs collection. It's good as a Cubs fan. And a nice Luis Roberts second year card, 1986 design. The one home run challenge card was a Suarez. He definitely uh, hits a lot of home runs. He had 52 a couple years ago. This through the years card threw me off because at first I thought it was like a mini uh, blue uh, parallel card because I've been opening a lot of the mini, or at least a few of the mini boxes. I really like those cards. It really threw me off when I was looking at it in the pack, but it's one of these through the years. It's not a real autograph of Boba Shit. Still, I like the card. A lot of people hate them, but they're all right with me. And I really like this card. This is a uh, Topps doubleheader. Shows the first Topps card. This is Cal Ripping Jr. And the last Topps card of a player's career. So I think that's a really cool kind of commemorative insert. And this is a uh, Through the Years, 70 Years of Topps. Mike Schmidt with the 2009 design, I believe, yes. All right, we'll go ahead and get into the parallels. Got a couple rainbow foils. No golds. This is Trevor Williams. He's now pitching with the Cubs, so that's cool. And an Alex Bregman with the Astros. Definitely talented, but he was involved in the cheating scandal with the Astros a few years back. You get four blue parallels. One I uh, had in a top load, so it was a good card, I'd say. You got Matt Boyd, Kier Kevin Kiermaier, Luke Voigt, and a nice rookie blue of Luis Garcia with the Nationals. I think he's one of the youngest players in the game, so uh, he definitely has a lot of uh, potential being so young and playing on a team full of young stars with him and Soto and Victor Robles. All right, and now the hits of the box. Got this really nice, as a Cubs fan, die cut, platinum player's die cut of Ernie Banks. Really cool card. Um, I like the die cuts a lot. You get a Cubs player. It was really awesome. Also got this blue uh, die cut. It's hard to tell that it's a blue parallel. It's not numbered. Of uh, Brooks Robinson. But I saw the odds of getting one are one in a thousand packs. So very tough pull. I think they, based on the odds, they make about, I'd say around 600 of those, of the blue parallels for each player. And then I got two 52 chromes. One of Steven Strasburg. Really nice. I also have a Scherzer and a Soto. Chrome, so I think I might have all the Nationals. And this was a really nice one. Alec Baum, 52 Chrome rookie card. Like I said, he's a great 
uh, prospect and definitely a cool card right there. And the hit of the box. An autograph out of retail. Marcus Stroman, Black Parallel. Really cool card. Especially cool with the Mets winning the... I believe they won the 86 World Series over the Red Sox. So this is the 1986 design. It's a Black Parallel, I believe. So the whole border's black, which is cool. Um, that'd be cool to get like a Matt Harvey, the Dark Knight, in that style. But he's not with the Mets anymore. But a really cool card. Um... Awesome box, I'd say overall. I did really well. That was to get a card like that was one in three thousand packs, and also I got a ton of just base cards. I got two stacks of those, of base cards. So you definitely get a lot of cards. So great break, I thought. Let me know what you think if I got a uh, good value out of this, and uh, if you've seen any on the shelf, and if you've had any luck with these. Thanks for watching. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.